Hey guys and welcome to my channel, I'm Lady Smiten and today's video is, well, it's meant to be one room build but it's sort of three room builds because I asked a couple of friends on Sims Amino if they wanted to do a collab with me and a lot of them said yes so I'm quite happy. Some people had to drop out but other than that it's gone quite well so far and it's called the Let's Build a Home collab which I came up with because I was feeling very isolated in my life sort of thing and just a bit weird and yeah I don't know it's hard to explain but anyway being on Sims Amino and on YouTube I've met lots of really awesome people so far and they've made me feel really welcome and like a friend of theirs and it's just been awesome so they've become like my little Sims Amino family and when I think of buying a house or when you like make a house on the Sims you want to make it feel like a home and the way to make it feel like a home is making it sort of personalised to the person or to the sims and uh, that is also done not only by the furnishings but also by the people that you involve in your life and so my little sims amino family and i have done this collaboration together where i asked my friend simulator to build us a big family home and it's like huge and he did an amazing job and he uploaded that to the gallery and then he also uploaded every room in the house separately to the gallery as well as the empty house which you can find by going on his uh, origin which is simulator as well. I'll leave links down below in the description. And then the rest of us got allocated a room each. I ended up doing quite a few rooms because as I said some people had to drop out so then we had to double up and some other people had to double up as well and it just depended on who would more free time do it and I just happened to have more free time so I did a couple more rooms. And um, the room I was originally given, which is what you can see here, is the family entertainment room in the basement and sort of like a home theatre games room type thing is the idea. So I went for my normal colour scheme of blue and orange because I love it and it's also black <laughs> is uh, another colour that I use in there quite a bit. But I think it goes quite nicely and the setup you can currently see is not the setup that we have in the end. I changed those chairs because I felt they weren't like homey enough or comfy enough for if you're having family time together they're very like proper cinema which is never that comfy I find the chairs in the cinema are always pretty painful to sit on personally so I changed that and I changed the lighting to make it a bit softer as well and I moved things around but the but don't make the llama table and the foosball table do stay where they currently are and the movie posters are all over the walls because it's meant to be a movie home theatre type thing so I thought that fitted quite well and I used a lot of items from movie hangout stuff obviously because it fitted well here um, and a couple of items like the rugs from backyard stuff I use the scented candle thing citronella candle from backyard stuff and that little side table there because they came in the right colors and it looked cute and it worked quite well and I liked the way it looked in the room the other rooms that I did are the hallway from here, the basement hallway, and the basement downstairs bathroom, which you'll see me working on in a bit. I also had to do some other rooms in the rest of the house, which I didn't film because I wasn't really supposed to be doing them. It was just they needed to be done because no one got allocated hallways. We kind of forgot about that. So we had to double up on them and some people had to do some of that stuff. So I ended up doing the upstairs, uh, the second floor for hallway and I added in a porch and a pool area and stuff. But I will be doing a showcase tour of the completed house in the next couple of days, hopefully, if I feel up to it, because I'm still not feeling 100%. And if I sound a little bit gross, that's probably because I'm coming down with something and I'm feeling a little bit ill. So I apologize for that too. Um, and I was just trying to figure out some sort of plants and I was making them all a bit too, like, I don't know how to explain it, they just seem like they wouldn't be plants that you'd have in the basement but I still wanted them to have a plant in here to make it more like homey and I like having plants in every room so I ended up using that sort of like palm tree plant which looked quite well I think and I changed the pot to black in a bit because the whole theme is orange, blue and black it seems to be what I've gone for overall in this room. As for the hallway and bathroom I kept them sort of neutral, the hallways greys with the hints of blues to link into this room and the bathroom is just white because I wasn't really supposed to be doing all of these rooms and I didn't want to make everything too over the top in my style because I needed to blend in with everyone else's rooms and I just added in a brick wall, like an orangey brick wall there because I liked the look of that. I thought it broke up the room a bit better and also maybe looks like the original wall for when it was like the house was built 
uh, random Dharma statue that I really want to use somewhere because I've used it in a build ages ago but I never filmed that build and I really think it's quite funny so I would like to use them again but I didn't I get rid of those plants and we put in sort of like a mini fridge thing uh, I'm not really sure if that classes as one but I thought it made sense to have something like that in the basement with the popcorn machine as well for having some snacks whilst watching films. Now I'm just working on the hallway which I start off with white but it does go to a grey colour later. Um, I'm putting one of those uh, walk-in closets, I'm not really sure why, it just sort of fitted in that space quite well so I've put that in and the towel rack thing there as well, like the shelves with the towels and the toiletries on since the bathroom's right there, it made sense. I've sort of styled the bathroom around a utility room as well so if we did have the washing machine and dryer like we did in the sims 3 then you could put them in there and it fit quite well it'd look normal so it's sort of like a laundry room as well and i put those lights following the stairs down because it looked cool and that area was just a little bit dark so i thought it helped it's not really loads that I can say because it is just me like messing around with lighting and like small things like that at the moment and I'm just not used to making videos at the moment, sorry guys, as well. I didn't make them for about two, maybe three weeks. I'm a little bit out of practice and I need to get back into it and I do want to get back into them. I added in this coffee table here with the little citrus candle thing I said before, the citronella candle. And I changed that to a black coffee table to fit the rest of the theme and just some random books and stuff. Uh, this whole thing has been playtested and it works fine. I actually made a family just for the collab video sort of thing. So they are also on the gallery. You can download them if you want to. Um, I'll be talking more about them and the house in the showcase video when I show you guys around, which I'm hoping to do soon. But I do have audio problems on my other computer. It's slightly like crackly or uh, static noises that I need to figure out if I can get rid of or at least make less noticeable so it's not irritating to listen to. So I'll figure that out this week for you guys and get that video up and it should be cool beans. Um, the bathroom, as I said, white, kind of plain, nothing spectacular going on in here. Just sort of everything that match that was white and sort of looked like you could have in a sort of cluttered uh, utility room area thing. So the other people involved in this collab, as I should mention them and talk a bit more about that, I will talk more about that in the showcase as well. Uh, I have a list here of the people who helped and also two people who I'm going to mention because they wanted to help but they just couldn't due to other life stuff, which is more important. So Simulator built us the house and uploaded the house and the room separately on his origin, as I said, which is Simulator. And then if you type in the hashtag build a home collab, then you will find everyone else's sort of decorated rooms, except for two which used the hashtag build a house collab, which will show some of the other rooms on there. And the people involved were Thomas TV, I Simmerick, uh, Tiffany, who I can't remember her full name on um, Sims Amino, but I will be linking her gallery origin thing and Mina down below. Derplicorn, who is also Audi Girl 4100 on origin. Um, my friend Jake, who is JDogZXD World on YouTube. I will put that link down below. Ibrahim, who also him and Derplicorn had to do a couple more rooms like I did. So they did a bit more work, which is cool. They helped me out a lot, which was awesome. Uh, James the Simmer, so I will link him down below, Chloe Simmer, and the two people who wanted to help out but weren't able to were Chocolate Simmer and Megan Four Sims. They both just had too much going on in their actual personal lives so they couldn't help, but you know, that's that. You can probably hear my noisy neighbours at the moment, that's cool. Thanks guys! Sorry! <laughs> um, so I'll talk more about them in the next video when I do the showcase and I show you all the rooms that everyone did and we talk more about the family that I made and stuff like that and I'll like be able to show you all the cool stuff everyone did because everyone's done a really good job, it was amazing and I put the house together which uh, was a little bit tricky because some of the doors got deleted when Simulator uploaded them and then people didn't know where the doors were meant to be so I had to sort of go in and rejig some people's items just to make sure the doorways fitted and stuff but it looks really cool and it's been a lot of fun playing in it so I hope that you guys will like it when it comes up and I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. Uh, we all worked really hard on it and 
it's just been really fun working with my little Sims and Mino family to make a little home together. So I thought that was pretty cool and I look forward to doing more collabs in the future with different people and with them again. Simulator and I have been talking about doing another one. So that'll be awesome and I'll keep you guys up to date on that one. And we're coming up to the end of the video I believe now soon so I will leave here and I will say thank you very much for watching to anyone who did. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did please leave a like or a comment down below and if you aren't subscribed please subscribe because it would be awesome and I hope that you guys have an amazing day. Enjoy the screenshots. Bye guys!